How to manually trigger a Jenkins build. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.361.4. The first way to manually trigger a Jenkins build is just to go into the job and click on Build Now. The second way to manually trigger a Jenkins job is to use the REST API. So we're inside of Test Job. If we go ahead and scroll down to the bottom, you'll see a REST API link. When you click on that, you'll get the documentation for this job. Now, the different options that you have are to fetch and update the config XML, delete a job, retrieving all builds. But what we're really looking for in this case is to perform a build. So to programmatically schedule a new build, or in our case, manually trigger the build, post to this URL. So let's go ahead and copy this URL, and let's go over to our command prompt, and let's just do a curl and paste in that URL. Now what you'll see here is some HTML come back, but bottom line is, is we need to authenticate. Since we're using curl, let's go ahead and use basic authentication. So we'll say curl-u. In my case, my username and password are both admin. And let's paste in our URL one more time. And now you can see that we're getting back even more HTML. Now, what does this mean in our case? Well, if we go ahead and scroll back up, what we can see here is a form post is required. Remember, the documentation says to programmatically schedule a new build, we must post to this URL. So let's go back over to our command prompt. We'll up arrow this, and then let's add in our post handler. So we'll say dash X post. When we hit enter now, we get yet a different error message. In this case, what we get is a 403. But this 403 isn't just about authentication, it's specifically no valid crumb was included in this request. So the easiest way to solve for this is to create an API token instead of using our password. So let's go back into our user, which is admin. We'll go to configure, and I'm going to create a new token. So I'm going to say add new token. I'm gonna to say rest API for the default name, and I'm gonna click on generate. And now we have our token here, so I'm going to copy this token. Let's go back over into our prompt. We'll up arrow this, then let's get rid of the password and let's replace it with the token and hit enter. Now you'll notice this time, the job did not give any kind of response to what was going on. Let's go back over into our dashboard. Let's go back into test job. We can see that number five was run. Let's go ahead and pull this back up so we can see it as we run it in real time. So we'll up arrow now. And what we expect to see when we do this is a job number six to be created. And what we can see is the number six is starting up, it's currently in the quiet period, and now it's completed. So far, we've done two different ways to manually trigger a build. First off, by manually clicking on Build Now. Secondly, by using the REST API via curl. But third, let's take a look at how to do this using the Jenkins CLI. So the first thing that we'll need to do is go and download the CLI because I don't have that downloaded locally. So we'll go to Manage Jenkins, we'll scroll down to Jenkins CLI, and then here we need to download the Jenkins CLI jar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on this link, and it's automatically downloaded to my downloads directory. So let's go verify that it's there. So we'll say there, and there's our Jenkins CLI jar. So let's go back over to the documentation. What we want to execute is the build command. So if we click into build, we can see that there are a number of options here that are available to us but we want to run the simplest version of this, but there are still a few parameters that we need to know. First off, we need to know what server that we're going to be running this command against, and also we need to provide authentication. Now, fortunately, there's a very easy way to do this from the command line. If we go back to our documentation and take a look at how to use the command line tool, if we go ahead and click on using the client, what we'll see here just a little bit further down is that we can export three environment variables. We have Jenkins URL, Jenkins user ID, and Jenkins API token. Remember just a few moments ago when we were doing the REST API, we created the API token. So we're gonna use that same API token here. So let's go over back into our command prompt. Let's clear this out and say export Jenkins underscore URL equals HTTP colon slash slash Jenkins colon 8080 and put a trailing slash on it. Next up, we need to create the Jenkins user ID. So we'll say export Jenkins user ID equals admin. And then finally, we need to create a Jenkins API token. So we'll say export Jenkins API token. 
And we'll set that value to, as I scroll up here to find the value, we'll copy that and we'll paste that into our API token. Now we're ready to go ahead and test running our job. Let's go back into the documentation for the build command. So we take a look at the build command. We'll say java-jar Jenkins CLI jar. We won't need to specify the server because we've already specified that in an environment variable. We need to give the command build and then what the job name is. So in our case, our job name is test-job. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back up and let's watch what happens when we run our command. So we'll say java-jar Jenkins-CLI jar build and then test-job. What we expect to see is a number seven show up. So watch down here in the bottom left-hand corner and let's see what happens. It appears the command ran successfully because we did not receive any errors back. And we can also see that our number seven job was executed. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.